We are in the war of the universe and it's magic against magic. Abracadabra 777. After a protest to lit his American flag on fire, here to discuss it are Columbia University students, Alicia Baker and Andrew Parker Stein. Uh, Andrew, it was you Saturday night, right? What happened? So basically, um, a bunch of Jewish students came to campus to respond to the encampment. We just sang songs of peace. Um, on the way out, a pro-Hamas mob started chasing us, calling us in the middle of campus, calling us inbred, that we have no culture. Um, one of them grabbed my friend's Israeli flag in the middle of campus, carried it to a mob by the gate. Shalom, everyone. If you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose of Jericho coming at you with some judgment news. To my sis stars and my bro stars out there of the Star Seed United allies and friends, I send you infinite love and light and I receive yours. Star Seed United, can you see it? It's a war, and it's a very magical war. And right now, it's a war of words. And we see Fox News and all of the mainstream media news taking on the side of the synagogue of Satan. And their narrative is full of lies. Yeah. You guys, yesterday, on yesterday's video, YouTube... Uh, was playing games. Yeah, they took my comments off. You know, I never take my comments off. I don't even go to that part of the screen when I screen when I'm posting. Yeah, so they were playing games yesterday. I caught it maybe a couple of hours in uh, after the posting. So make sure you put your comments in the comments section because words are very magical. If it were not so, the Tower of Babel wouldn't have ever happened. You see. Words are very, very powerful. And our words are turning this world upside down. Yeah, it's the, the words. The words. Didn't Mother say that, that our magic had everything to do with our words and our purified energy going into the ears of the Most High God of Israel? And do you see what is happening? The Most High is responding to us immediately now. So I just got to crank them out. As they come, I'm just going to crank them out. And we're going to go to the courts of the Most High with our words. Oh, my goodness. Those words from these college students is so very powerful. They're so magical. When they say, the people united shall never be defeated. In chorus, with all of that energy out there. The energy of empathy? Are you kidding me? Let me tell y'all, words are so very important. Now, our words have everything to do with our purified energy and going to the courts of the Most High. That is our assignment uh, to do during this time of judgment. The words of truth. And the Most High is listening in on this video, too. Yeah, every time I do a video, he's looking at everything that I'm looking at. He just want to make sure that his children... See what's going on and they react to it. That they react to it. And, and this is a very, very magical journey. So now Hashitan's magic have everything to do with words, energy, and illusion. And words plus illusion means a lie. Yeah, and that is all crumbling, y'all. Hashitan's magic is so weak right now. The words and the energy is taking them out. All praises to the Most High. Okay, you guys, let's get started. No, this isn't Gaza. This is Yale. Fox News alert. Right now, you're looking live at the campus of Yale University, where police are swarming the campus, where police are swarming the campus, where police are swarming the campus. Hashitan's lies has everything to do with words and illusion, right? So now he's saying that the police are swarming the campus. What do you see on this image? 
See, that's what I'm talking about. We're going to buzz Hashitan out on his lives. We're going to have so much fun on this video. All praises to the Most High. We're going to bust his ass out on mainstream media. Yeah, because, see, they're trying to use words, too. They're putting their lies out there to try to gain allies, try to gain energy on their side. Because I told y'all, he lost that energy. We took dominion over it, and he's desperately trying to garner some kind of energy with his lies. So now the first lie. The police are swarming the campus. Words plus illusion equals a lie. Now you see the image right before your face and you heard the words that's coming out of his mouth. They keep doing it. Oh, Hashitan, Hashitan, just keep getting on the airwaves. Just keep getting on the airwaves. I told you what was going to happen. A big backfire. Where police are swarming the campus. They are chanting right now, as you hear, there's been hundreds of students protesting Israel at Yale. Anti-Israel protests plague colleges and universities. Always the victim anti-Israel protest when there are pro-Palestinian protest. You see how they change the narrative? They're trying to make them seem like they're anti-Semitic. By the way, you might be offended by this message. If you do not resonate, I advise you to just go somewhere else because I shoot straight from the hip. The Most High God of Israel in the book of Revelation, which we're living in right now, he calls them the synagogue of Satan. And that's what I call them. It's in Revelation 3, 9 and also in Revelation 2, 9. He identifies these people in the book of Revelation to, to all you Bible thumpers out there. Yeah, that believe that these people could possibly be the children of the Most High God of Israel. Yeah, you're going to perish right with them if that's what you, you choose to believe. They always play the victim. Anti-Israel. <laughs> Knowing good and well that these people's empathy is out there and their words are speaking on the freedom from the colonizers over there in Israel. Yeah, the imposters that's slaughtering the people in Gaza. They know this. You know, they know this, and so does their listeners, so does their subscribers. They know, too. They want to hear these kind of lies to support them. But what it's doing is backfiring on them every single time. So now it's just like a whole big old attack. And I told Hashitan and his children, you spies listening out there, that every time you use the airwaves, it's going to backfire on your asses. Watch and see what happens. Watch and see how this energy grows against you. Just because you're on the airwaves, lying, lying, lying. Our next guest witnessed the anarchy firsthand. Our next guest witnessed the anarchy firsthand. The anarchy firsthand on Columbia University's campus that pushed today's class classes online. They say for their safety. What? Busted again. They use the word anarchy. So as I read this definition, just play, play, excuse me, pay close attention to what you're seeing before your very eyes. Anarchy, a state of disorder due to absence or non-recognition of authority or other controlling systems. Moving right along on Hashitan's lies. <laughs> I mean, stupid lies. I mean, really. Now it's about to really get juicy. Our Columbia University students, Alicia Baker and Andrew Parker Stein. Uh, Andrew, it was you Saturday night, right? What happened? So basically, um, a bunch of Jewish students came to campus to respond to the encampment. We just sang songs of peace. Um, on oh, ye little privileged ones that's wearing the cloak of our identity. What happened was... He said that they were responding to the encampment. That means that it was a counter protest. That's why they were there. They were counter protesting. The way out, a pro Hamas mob started chasing us, calling us in the middle of campus, calling us inbred, that we have no culture. There was a pro Hamas group calling us out on our identity. Because people now know 
that they are not who they say they are, just like the Bible says. And the culture and the identity is stolen. Yeah. Um, one of them grabbed my friend's Israeli flag in the middle of campus, carried it to a mob by the gate that were communicating with the angry mobs outside of campus. They These protests are exploding on social media as well as mainstream media. And have you seen a mob yet? Have you seen an angry mob? I'm telling you, these people can't help it. They just gonna be the victim. Oh, I'm the poor victim. Oh, we had a mob coming after us. Did you see a mob? Wow. <laughs> Stupid lies. Stupid lies, Hashitan. But keep on going. Um, one of them grabbed my friend's Israeli flag in the middle of campus, carried it to a mob by the gate that were communicating with the angry mobs outside of campus. They threw hard objects at him. They started harassing him. They tried to light his flag on fire and there, nothing is done with this. And after that, on the way out, we were talking to public safety. They started following us on the way out and public safety just shrugged their shoulder. There's conspiracy theory, conspiracy theory. He's lying. He's lying. Because these people with all everybody having a phone with video capability, that image would have came out of what he just described. If it's out there, I haven't seen it. Have you seen it? Have you seen that? Everything. Oh, where is your evidence? We need to see evidence when they start accusing people of stuff like this because they're trying to build a lying ass narrative putting these peaceful protesters in danger. You know, them accusing the students of what he just said, I know that they have cameras everywhere on these campuses. I want to see the evidence. These lying, lying bastards, I'm telling you, they will make up a story and a narrative. Somebody probably just shouted, the people united shall never be defeated. Free, free Palestine. Louder than they did. Yeah, because they went there for a counter protest. He just shrugged their shoulder. They're supposed to, they're the ones who are responsible in protecting us. And the only protection that we had was we have one student who's a 6'5 student and everyone hid behind him as we were leaving campus. We don't want no Zionists here. Get out of here. F Israel and a bunch of other. And these are students. Right? So that's a great question. Uh, this is the most shocking thing on campus right now. We have video proof of people sneaking into campus. But they didn't have video proof of their last accusation. You see what I'm saying? Somebody was speaking louder than them. They were like, fuck Israel. They want people to go to prison behind that. They want the police to storm and start shooting people up. Yeah, and then they want the taxpayers to pay for it. The people that's paying the wages of law enforcement and the military, the taxpayers. You see what I'm saying, y'all? Yeah, they want police protection. They want a whole new governmental agency created just for that, them and their protection. They want to be protected like a president of the United States or like the Pope. That's what they want, and they want everybody to pay for it on their lives. Not going to happen, Hashitan. Not going to happen. These students have families. Yeah, even some of the popo, the military, politicians have children at these Ivy League schools. So does the Hells Angels, from what I hear. Yeah, that's who you're messing with. You think you're going to get some allies with your lies? You think people are going to pay for that? Oh, my goodness. Ooh, watch and see how this backfires on them, y'all. The encampment themselves are bragging about the fact that many aren't students. And so we don't know if they're students. Likely they're students. They might not be students. And Columbia is doing nothing about the fact. Unbelievable. They just shut down school. Alicia, what's your experience? I mean, look, we've been calling this out for six months now. We know that these are anti-Semites. We know that they're anti-Semites. <laughs> And did he say six months? They've been complaining for six months. Have any of them been harmed in any kind of way in six months? I want to know. I want to know. Using anti-Semitic Since the October 7th attack. Since the October 7th attack. Since the first set of protests on October 12th. 
And now we see what happens when you don't shut down anti-Semitic rhetoric and you allow these people to feel entitled. He actually had the nerve to use the word entitled against the protesters. Look at them. Who's entitled? Who's entitled? Who's privileged above all in this United States of America? You know, there were some arrests on Thursday. That was great. I, con I commend the university for doing that. Guess what? They walk 20 yards to their left. They do the exact same thing on the other lawn, and they've been there since Thursday. And now they're harassing us. They're yelling, go back to Poland. You know, when they say we don't want no Zionists here and death to the Zionist state, you know, what's the game plan? Where should we go? Again, their identity challenged when they say to go back to Poland. Yeah. And he's saying, where should we go? Because of the atrocities and because of the wickedness that's displayed before the whole world to see of what's happening in Gaza by Netanyahu and his crew and the Zionists and everybody that aligns themselves with Zionism. We see the atrocities. We see the murder. We see the wickedness. We see babies being blown to bits. We see a little newborn baby being birthed out of her dead mother's womb. That's what we see you people doing. And so what's going to happen very soon? Because he said, well, where will we go? I'm telling you right now, because of the wickedness, every place that you go from here on out, people are going to slam the door on you. You are not going to be welcomed anywhere on the planet. Abracadabra. And then after that, you'll see where you will go. The Most High God of Israel is going to send you there. And everyone that aligns themselves with you and your wickedness. But you don't feel safe on campus. Absolutely not. And there's no, and there's really been no enforcement of policy. And the problem is that public safety is unable to really step in when there are problems. Are they... Public safety is not responding to your whining asses about words when there is a very energetic and powerful protest going on. Public safety is not supposed to arrest peaceful protesters. But because you're whining and you are privileged, you think that every time that you whine to the popo about words, that they're supposed to crack somebody over the head, arrest them, and take them to Rikers Island. Problem? Are they armed? I mean, are they capable uh, of doing anything, Andrew? See, this is how dangerous this is. Fox News just asked these two privileged ones if public safety was armed and if they're able to do anything. See, they want people to get killed. They want peaceful protesters to actually get shot and killed by the police because they're saying words and using their voices in solidarity for the Palestinians. And this empathy is going to wreck your kingdom, Hashtan. This is what, what you're trying to do. What you're trying to do, we already prayed protection over all of the protesters. And you will not harm, kill any of them. And at the end of all things, all the blacklisting that's going on behind the scenes and all of the crafty counsels to ruin people's lives are going to come right back at you and your children. Every time you put energy into it, it's going to backfire on you. Abracadabra. I think that's the most concerning part. People have been saying for a while now that they don't feel safe. And a lot of that had to do with the rhetoric. A lot of that had to do with the rhetoric. But but I want to be clear right now. This has now gotten into physical safety. I no longer feel physical physically safe on my campus. What year are you in? I'm All of it has to do with the rhetoric. Rhetoric are words. You see how magical words are? You see how magical words are, Star Siege United? It all had to do with words, and they have been complaining for for months for words. Now he's saying he feels, he feels unsafe. He's scared. 
These people are such cowards. I'm telling you words, really. Words. He's so afraid because of words. That's the only thing that hurt him. But he's so scared. It's so fucking sickening. They always want to be the victims. You see how they're putting themselves in the... Uh, uh, they're putting themselves under the victimhood. They're using the victim card. I'm so scared because of words. We've been complaining about words. And they won't do anything about it. I'm scared now. And something should be done because I'm scared. Junior. So, Junior, do you going to finish up this, seat this semester? That's a great question. If nothing... Let Are me... you going to come back? I, I promised myself after Saturday night, after our group was attacked by a mob of pro Hamas supporters that I... He's accusing these peaceful protesters for being out on the streets on pro Hamas orders. You see? Liars. Liars. I'm not stepping on campus while this is happening, and I don't know what that means for finals. I don't know what that means for the rest of the semester. For you guys, you have a mission. You want to get a degree from an Ivy League university. I don't think you should let these guys stop you from doing that. I agree. And by the way, you know, in America with religious freedom and at Columbia with, you know, a big Jewish community, we're supposed to feel like we can be proud of our identities and we can be proud to wear our kippahs on campus. I'm proud to wear the Hebrew Israelites identity. And I don't want to feel uncomfortable about it any longer. <laughs> Who organized this? I mean, what, what's going on? There's two, there's kind of two things happening. There's the coalition of groups on campus called Columbia University Apartheid Divest that are calling for a number of things. One of them now is defund public safety. I don't believe this lie. It makes no sense at all. So this group, particular group he's talking about is Apartheid Divestment. And that's what they're calling on. They're saying, we do not want to support Israel in any kind of way. We're paying this exorbitant tuition and we don't want to see the money that we're investing going to Israel to do a genocide. So why would they call for defunding the police or defunding law? <laughs> it makes no sense. I don't believe them. I want to see it. I want to see that. I want to see proof of it because these little bastards just be lying. They're trying to get allies. They're trying to get allies, I'm telling you, with their lies, and it's going to backfire. Things. One of them now is defund public safety. So, I mean, they're basically trying to get rid of the only set of people that are even tasked with keeping us safe on campus. And then you have groups like Within Our Lifetime, which is designated by the Anti-Defamation League as very much supporting terrorism, if not kind of being a terrorist group themselves. The Anti-Defamation League is the biggest lying, slanderous organization in the world. You know, we decode words on this station and the word anti has a whole nother meaning to what you believe, okay? We decoded it. And we know that the synagogue of Satan coins anti on almost damn everything right there. The Anti-Defamation League. They're the most anti-hate group. Anti this and anti that. And the magical meaning of anti is 17. That's the numerical uh, value. It, it means victory. So whenever you see uh, anti in front of a phrase that they're using, that's what they want to be victors over, okay? They say they're the anti-hate, right? The anti-hate organization. That means that they want to be victorious over hate. They want to control hate. They want to direct hate. They want to be con in total victory over that word hate. Anti-defamation means that they want to be the champions. They want to be the victors over defaming people. You get my point? So just pay attention to that. I'm telling y'all words are very magical. So we have the, the Anti-Defamation League labeling an organization on campus that's anti-apartheid and divestment. 
and the Anti-Defamation League has already tagged them, labeled them as terrorists. So any member of that group is already blacklisted. You see what I'm saying? This is slander. This is slander. And if Jonathan Greenblatt of the Anti-Defamation League have them on that list, believe me, the FBI, the CIA, and Homeland Security have them listed as terrorists too. This is straight up slander. It's damaging and is damning slander. And then you have groups like Within Our Lifetime, which is designated by the Anti-Defamation League as very much supporting terrorism, if not kind of being a terrorist group themselves and or at least a pro-terror right. group themselves and what's happening is th that group that is organizing right outside our gates which is by the way on the way back to my dorm i have to walk through them and the groups inside campus are totally coordinating sneaking people in and out sneaking things in and out by the way i don't know what's in a backpack when it gets snuck in does anybody know what's in your backpack yeah, so um, what he's saying is we don't know what's in their backpacks. What do you want them to be searched to? You know, this, I'm telling y'all, this is so devious. Mainstream media news is so devious with their lies. They're putting these, these young people in jeopardy. They're trying to put a label on them for failure. Now they want to have, what do you want, metal detectors? Because you're scared of words? These people are so pathetic. They're such cowards. Who knows? I mean, they were, you know, Andrew on, on Saturday night had water thrown in his face. What if somebody had a, you know, a gun or a knife? Andrew had water thrown in his face. Was it a gun? Was it a knife? No. If, if he even got, if somebody even did throw water on him, they're such liars. They are the biggest liars because they come from the bloodline of liars. Hashitan is their father. The Most High calls them a synagogue of Satan. Yeah, in Genesis, the third chapter. Yeah, they're serpent seed. And we can see right here evidence of how deep their lies go. How they're trying to endanger people with their lies over words and feelings. But it's much more than that. Hashitan is afraid of the words and the energy. That's what he's afraid of. We never would have known. Why do you say pro Hamas? Because someone stood there saying Al Qassam's, which is the military wing of Hamas. Next. Somebody said two words and he wants them punished. He calls them help Hamas. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Target while we were singing songs of peace, holding Israeli flags, and they stood there for 10 minutes and no one did anything about it. If this was a peaceful protest, if you have one rogue who's doing that, if, if someone on our side did anything like that, we would shut them down immediately. Instead, okay, now he really has his nerves here, and we don't even know if they may, may have been former IDF soldiers. Yeah, because IDF soldiers do attend these Ivy League universities and universities all over these United States. Yes, IDF soldiers that have dual citizenship from in the United States and in Israel. Many of them have served in the IDF uh, army and participated in the genocide. And then they come back as though they don't have any blood on their hands. And they go to these colleges as the privileged ones, because they served in the IDF. If, if somebody was on our side and they were rogue, we would stop them. Mm, mm, mm. They had people filming it and, and celebrating it while we stood there singing songs of peace and there, it's all over social media, pictures of al Qassam's next target, which is Hamas. Right. What's your reaction to the fact that I'm showing you live pictures at Yale right now, that you know this protest happened at MIT, that you know it's happening at Berkeley, at the new school downtown. A lot of NYU students are without protesting there. They're coming up to your on the Upper West Side. So Wow, y'all, this is spreading like wildfire. You see what the Most High is doing to the planet? This energy of empathy is spreading like wildfire. And that empathy, that energy with the words, <laughs> I'm telling you. 
It's going to squash all of Hashitan's slander. It's going to put it into this particular war. It's going to put it into the slaughter of what's happening in Palestine. This energy of divestment is going to break their bank. Yes. Them labeling people with slanderous words, calling them terrorists. I'm sure I'm probably on one of the lists at the ADL. I know I'm on the list at the ADL. You think I give a damn about that word anti-Semitism? That illegitimate word? It's an illegitimate word because it does not belong to them. They are neither Shemitic nor Semitic. But they want to use that one word to control everybody's words. They want to tell you what those words mean when you say from the river to the sea Palestine will be free I hear it exactly at is, as it is said that the people that shouting these words want to see Palestine free but no they tell you what it means oh it's hateful that's hate language because they're anti-hate they're the champions of hate they're used to controlling the energy of hate on the planet and I did videos on it and so now it's out of their control. That's what's happening. What are your reaction to this? You, I mean, look, the fact that this is spreading is not surprising to me. I'm seeing it at Yale. I mean, my brother's going to Yale next year. I'm, I know that he's going to have to be dealing with the same things that I'm dealing with. And he they have always redirected hate away from them. They learned how to do this through the movies, through the media, through, like they're doing now on Fox News. Yeah, they're trying to harness people's energy and control it and direct it back at the protesters. And it's a big fail. It's a big fail. Because now what's happening is they are making with every every word, every slanderous word that they tell is making them more and more despicable. Making them more and more hated because of their they're doing it themselves. Their magic is backfiring. Their word magic is backfiring. They no longer have dominion over the energy. And so let them keep on going. Keep on talking. Keep on talking, Synagogue of Satan. Now, I saw where there were some uh, wild cards. Some uh, 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 terrorist attack against the protesters. And I was like, they're not saying who they are. They're not telling people who those demons were who sprayed skunk spray on the protesters. Well, let's read this Reddit article. I think it's, no, it's, uh, what is it? I am a total piece of shit. Okay. It says, at least two former IDF soldiers, now students at Columbia University sprayed their classmates with a chemical irritant akin to that which Israel uses against Palestinians. Several students were hospitalized, included, including Jewish Voice of Peace members, who the ex-IDF verbally harassed as well. Busted, Hashitan, busted. So you heard all of the slander from the two little liars. You heard how they're so afraid. They're so scared of words. They're so scared of words. But who is really being the terrorist here? Jonathan Greenblatt, Black, did you put these two former IDF soldiers that's now students of Columbia University on your lift list as terrorists? Did they even face any kind of punishment? That's what I want to know. I want to know if they were what they were charged with because this was chemical warfare that they used. A terrorist attack against the protesters. Are they labeled terrorists? You see these slanders right here that we just witnessed right here that's trying to uh, they're, they're trying to get people on their side and ally with them. The dumb liars. Yeah. When this is going on, now who's really hurting people? Who uh, did, did they go? Did any of them have to go to the hospital? Yeah, I don't believe anything that I see regarding these people. Like they said, one somebody poked one of them in the eye. She was supposed to be some kind of 
beauty queen in Israel. Yeah, they put a little one of their little stars in the starring role and said that she got poked in the eye with a flag. I don't believe it. If it happened, they did it or she did it herself to try to get a starring role in front of the cameras. I don't believe anything these people have to say. Those students are law abiding. That's number one. They can't get in these Ivy League universities unless their records are clean as a whistle. They have to keep up their GPA or they will be expelled because, you know, you have to hold a high standard to go to an Ivy League school. Yeah, but, but because they're speaking out against the genocide of what Israel is doing. Yeah, the Most High have these people in starring roles in this this war because they're cloaked in our identity and they have ruled wickedly since this war what have we found out we found out that they do control our government that's why you see what's going on right now i think they took that president of uh, columbia university back in front of the senate yeah they're trying to force this thing yeah but it's not going to work it's not going to work we bind up we bind up all of their slanders we bind them up. We bind them up and we charge them with the slanders too. We're going to take their asses to the courts of the Most High. You see, Star Seed United, this energy is so important. This, The energy, this empathetic energy is working on our behalf. You have to open your minds and see what's really going on here. That empathetic energy is killing Hashitan's, it's killing his, his, his power. Yeah, that's what's happening. That's why I'm blessing these protesters. They're on the right side of history. Yeah, they have empathy in their hearts. They're trying to do the right thing. Now, let's go back to this, what happened in this terrorist uh, attack against the peaceful protesters that are pro-Palestinian protesters. I noticed that it was deleted and it happened three months ago. I didn't even hear about it until the other day. Yeah, until that was brought before Congress. They swept this shit under the rug. They are doing terrorist attacks that this terrorist attack here was committed by terrorists over there that participated in the genocide of Gaza. I'm telling y'all, they're trying to bring that shit over here. They wanted to rule the world with it. So, you know, hypothetically, if they won everything that they're trying to do right now, they will police... They will police the, the United States of America just like how they had Gaza in that, uh, that open-air prison. That's what they would make this whole United States says with surveillance everywhere. It would be backed by the United States and their military and their law enforcement so that they can be settlers over here in the United States in your state. They could occupy with government backing. So by all means, they want to stop you. See, the energy... The energy with the words is what's the big threat. So if they could stop it at anybody saying anything, then they stop the whole energy. Well, we're going to put a stop to this shit. They are losers, honey. Yeah, baby. The, you know, you guys remember this, the boy that cried wolf? Y'all remember that story? Yeah, with every lying words that come out of these slanderous mouth, may the curse of the boy that cried wolf May it come upon them swiftly, abracadabra. Certain scriptures in the Bible are living. They could have been written thousands of years ago. And at one certain time, they actually come to life. And so we are in the days of revelation. We are at the time of the great reset. And the most high God Israel He's telling the world in Revelation 2, 9. He's talking about these people in relation to their slander. Now, the Most High is talking to his children and he's telling us, he's reassuring us. I know your tribulation and poverty. Now, 
first of all, he could not have possibly been talking to the synagogue of Satan. They are in no way in poverty. So he's telling us, I know your tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. I know the slander of those. He said, I know the slander. I know the slander of those who claim to be Jews and are not but rather are members of the assembly of Satan. That's what the Most High had John the Revelator to write thousands of years ago. These are the only people on the earth that claim to be Jews and are not. DNA proves it. Where they come from proves it. They keep lying about it. Let's go to Revelation 3, 9 now. The Most High God of Israel confirmed his word. That these people are a synagogue of Satan. That the people that say they are Jews and are not. That's why their identity is in crisis right now. That's why they've been found out for being the imposters. The identity thieves that stole our culture. Our, our, our heritage. They stole absolutely everything from us. And this scripture right here is also speaking of the great reset in regards to them. Okay, so let me read it. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, again, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. He's talking to his children. This was said thousands of years ago for a day like today. We're at the Great Reset. And these scriptures are alive. They are living. Okay. And so this one right here is talking about the Great Reset. Because those Bilderbergs at the top of the pinnacle and all their children. You know, probably them two that was on the stage at Fox News. Probably with some of their children. Their offspring of those 13 families that live on the top of the pinnacle that's so privileged that they think that nobody has the right to speak out against their evil. They're so privileged, yet they slander others and say that they think that they're entitled. Yeah, and they have been the most entitled people on the planet. They have been at the top of the pinnacle, ruling at the top. And at the end of this scripture, the Most High said he's going to make them come and bow down at our feet, his children's feet, the Hebrew Israelites' feet. And all of you out there that don't believe it, just wait until the Most High do the second part of it when you have to know because the Most High is going to bless us so big and so magically that everybody in this world is going to know that he loves us, not them. He loves us, the Hebrew Israelites, not the imposters, and they will bow down. They will bow down in humility. That's what that's all about. He's going to humiliate them. He's going to make them bow at our feet and worship. It's going to take place. Okay, you guys, let's go to the courts of the Most High and do our due diligence. Father, we thank you again for allowing us to come before your presence in your courts. Father, we come today with another case against our enemies, the synagogue of Satan. We thank you for bowing the heavens and hearing us, Father. I know you heard all of the lying slanderers. That those two, synagogue of Satan, members, spewed upon the people of the planet, the students at these universities given their energy and their words and their empathy towards the Palestinians who suffering at the hands of the imposters that call themselves Israel. I know you heard every slander, Father, every slander. Mother, we thank you for giving us wisdom on this most magical mission to conquer Hashatan from this 3D to connect it to the 5D. Yes, thank you, Mother. We adore you above all. Mother Wisdom. Father, we're doing exactly 
as you commanded us to do on our mission. And that is to do everything that our, our mother has directed us to do. And she's directing us to go after the slander of Hashtan on this video. The slanders, the lying accusations of Hashtan that are putting people in danger. Doing it, wanting anything evil to happen to anybody that come against his wickedness. He has used slander, his wicked lies, and caused the death of many and the suffering of many unjustly. Father, we ask that you balance the scales and make him pay for every lie that he has told to harm humanity, abracadabra. Father, for every slanderous word, I'm asking you that you put this, the curse of the boy that cried wolf upon all of them, all of them that want to continue with their accusations, their lies, and their slanders. We ask you to put the curse of the boy that cried wolf upon them. Abracadabra 777. Since they want to cry over words, they're trying to control people's words and their freedom of speech. Yeah, that's what we would like to happen to them, Father. They're calling on for people to get hurt and killed because they're taking a choice to be on the right side of history. Evidently, you put that upon a Father, in their awakening. They see the truth. They see the truth and they're going for it, Father. And we ask you to bless every single protester, Father. Bless them. Bless them with great success. The ADL, the Anti-Defamation League, is up to it again, Father. Putting people on uh, a list of lab with labels on them, calling them terrorists. Thank you, Mother, for exposing them. Those terrorists, the real terrorists, those that say they are Jews and are not, that participated in the genocide over there in Gaza, students at Columbia University that sprayed the protesters with a chemical agent and sent them to the hospital. We ask that you remove all impunity from all of them, all of the IDF soldiers, all of those in Congress that are trying to push for punishment on anybody that says words, that have their own thoughts, that's expressing what's in their heart from, from the their empathy, giving their energy and their time, taking a risk of being blacklisted, taking a risk of being suspended from school. They have so much passion, Mother, and we thank you for that ex expose of who the terrorists really are. Father, we ask you to remove the impunity, Father. Remove the impunity and judge every last one of them. Everyone that slanders against those with empathy, that slanders against the Hebrew Israelites, allies and friends, Father, we ask you for judgment. We ask you for justice and that you balance the scales. We pray that the whole world will turn a deaf ear against all of those that those boys that cry wolf. Turn a deaf ear. And then we ask Big Brother to commence with judgment and that nobody hears their suffering. Nobody hears them. Father, once again, we ask that the world recognize these people for who they are. Mark them, Father. And everywhere that they go on the planet, let all the doors slam in their face because people recognize them for who they are. The terrorists, the demons, the children of Satan. Let them recognize them for their true identity, Father. And let all people all over this earth reject them. Abracadabra. Star CG9, you know what to do. If I have missed anything in the courts of the Most High that you would like to address, put it in the comments section. Put your 777s and abracadabras if you agree with me with these words. We're taking our words and our purified energy to the courts of the Most High where He is hearing us and responding. Father, we claimed our dominion over the airwaves. We've taken dominion over the airwaves 
and we have already given warning to Hashitan not to use it, to spit his lies. And he continues to do so. So as he continues, as he uses those words and the energy and try to influence the energy of the planet, with every single word, Father, we ask for a huge backfire all the way up to the White House, all the way to the UN, all the way to the European Union, all the way to Africa, on every continent, every lying word, Father, take account of it and send it back at them, the results that they're looking for to cause harm to people, let it go back at them and all of their children, abracadabra. As we leave this most holy place in Zion, the courts of the Most High, Star Seed United, give your Father praise and glory, adore your mother, and pledge your allegiance to your big brother, the Messiah, the King and God of this earth. Our rulership is coming very, very quickly. Yes, all praises to the Most High. On behalf of all pro-Palestinian protesters, Father, I bring you these words. The people united shall never be defeated. The people united shall never be defeated. Free, free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free, and so will all the inhabitants of the world. As Hashitan fall to the bottom of the pyramid temporarily until you take him out of this universe in a place that you designed, especially for him and his children. All praises, Yahweh. To all of my bro stars and my sis stars, allies and friends, I would like to salute you all for joining in this great battle. We were called to duty. We were called before we were even born in this, into this dimension to do exactly what we're doing. Do you see the results? Time and time again, the Most High has given us receipts. He factored us in. Isn't that special? He factored us in to be a, a part of this great reset. All praises to the Most High, and we have great results. The Most High and Mother has made us more than conquerors in this dimension. Yes, yeah, so congratulations to all of you. You guys, don't forget to hit that like, because that's you validating that you are in the fight with me. If you are new to my station, this is, this is very magical. There are worlds without end appearing upon our earth right now. I've discovered many. You might want to check my thumbnails. We are at the time of the Great Reset. Yeah, and Star Seed United is all about the fight. The Most High gave us this gave us this assignment before we even came into this dimension. And if you resonate and you want to join the fight, feel free to subscribe. Not everybody can resonate with this message. A lot of people will think, oh, she's so anti-Semitic. Well, that word is illegitimate. I'm not afraid of it. I'm not afraid to call Hashitan out on all of his debauchery through the people that stole my identity and my inheritance. I speak out. I speak truth. I shoot straight from the hip. Not everybody will resonate, but if you do, join in this fight. Okay, you guys, don't forget to hit that like. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like. And I love your comments. Thank you so much for your support of this station. Yeah, may goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives. And may we all dwell in the holy palace forever and ever with our father, our mother, and our big brother, Messiah. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? Star Seed United forever. Star Seed for life. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for your kind support of this station. Yes, all your gifts of love. May the Most High bless you 100-fold for whatever your hearts desire. Abracadabra. Okay, until the next Judgment News, your big sister 
the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, the Jericho out. Shalom. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be 